Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So here it is. The giveaway knife is gonna happen. Now, you guys were asked to vote for the Tuna or the Amicus, and the Tuna won just by two votes. Real quick, I'm just gonna throw the specs up on the screen. So we'll just get into it really quick. This is a 8CR 14MOV spear point slash drop point blade. I think it's more of a spear point, but it's got a beautiful hollow grind. It's nice and slicey, nice and thin behind the edge. It's got a really nice etch in a stone wash. I don't even think I'm gonna do anything to it because it just looks that good. This blade is riding on nylon washers and it is a dual thumb stud deployment action. Now it's got two matching collars which is anodized a orange color and it matches the backspacer as well. And as you guys can tell, I beat up on this knife just a little bit, but when I'm done with it, it'll be brand spanking new. It's got a, a deep carry pocket clip and the frame lock side is also etched in stone wash, which is really, really nice. It's got a green G10 scale, black hardware. The ergos on it are really, really good due to the fact that the the profile is basically a nice subtle bend and your fingers just line up really nice and really choke up on this thing and then you got a little bit of jimping. Now that I've talked a little bit about the specs and what this blade is, let's get into the changes that I'll be doing for the giveaway. Now I'm not really going to get into it, I'm just really going to surprise you guys. So uh, not much will be said, I guess you guys will just have to wait and see. So let's. Let's get to taking this thing apart and uh, let's see what we got on the inside. Now this blade has a T8 pivot hardware screw and then the rest is T6. All right, so here it is all taken apart. Uh, not much else to say, so let's just get into customizing it.
All right, everyone, so here it is all customized. Now, there were a few things that were a little tricky for me to uh, kind of get to, but I did make it happen, and let's just get into it. Uh, I just want to break it down real quick. So for the scale, as you guys can see here, it is a big slab of brass, but I did end up skeletonizing the underside, and I think it looks pretty cool. I think I'm going to have to uh, make a scale that just has this design on it because it's pretty neat. It's got a good good feel to it, but I tried to take away some weight where I could because I just kept adding more and more brass items. My goal wasn't to make this blade too heavy, so I had to find some areas where I could create some new things but lighter weight. Once I have this all put together, I'm going to show you guys something really cool with the scale pattern. And then for the pocket clip, as you guys saw from the video, now this thing was a challenge to create, but I didn't, I didn't want to have just an, a plain, ordinary pocket clip. So as you guys saw, I figured out a way to do it from underneath. And all I did was I drilled some holes and I threaded it for the smaller sized uh, screws. Just in case this does break, you know, accidents happen, you snag it on something and it breaks, or you lose tension because you overstretch it. I did, I was able to save, I was able to save the thread on the original. So you're able to use the original pocket clip. So whoever wins this blade, you are gonna get the original pocket clip just in case that happens. So keep that in mind. Again, it was a challenge because I didn't want to, I didn't want to drill through. I didn't want to take off too much material and then expose the holes. And then the real challenge was actually creating just that little raised area right there for the pocket clip to sit into the recessed area for the original design there. So that was the biggest challenge, even though it's the smallest little thing. Super happy how this came out. It's got some flow and I did copy the shape of the blade when it's closed so it's basically like a mini tuna and yeah that pattern is just really cool but more on that when it's all put together and then we have the pivot collar which was fun to make because I had an idea on how to create it and it worked out perfectly as you guys saw from the video so super happy with this fits perfect even better than the original ones so the original ones were kind of oblong but this is nice and circular and it fits like a glove so really really happy with the pivot collar and there's only one since this side is a full piece of brass and then last but not least we have the carbon fiber g10 backspacer now like i said before i needed somewhere to save weight and i was going to do a brass backspacer but Again, I didn't want this thing to weigh 10 ounces. So one thing I really like about this backspacer, and since it has the carbon fiber weave or wave, you can actually see the waves in there. So it kind of fits perfectly with the, with the name of the blade, tuna, ocean, water, if that makes any sense. Let me know if you guys know what I'm getting at. <laughs> um, but yeah. Just in the right light you can see that wave pattern so it's really cool and then I also crowned it so it's a nice a nice rounded backspacer and it's pleasant on your hand once it's sitting in your palm so that is the backspacer and that's pretty much it you guys so let's put this thing together and see what it looks like All right, so here it is all put together and man, does it look good. <laughs> uh, again, I'm, I'm really happy with this and I'm really happy that it's going to one of you guys. So the part that I really, really like is this pocket clip because the hardware is hidden. I mean, it just looks so clean. And then you got your pivot collar here. It's raised up a little bit. I just wanted to give it some more attention. 
and I also put the texture on the collar as well. And then as you guys can see on the inside, I recessed the screws so it's actually flush in there. So the blade, not that the blade will hit it because it's already centered, but it's just nice to see that it's clean. And then the blade is centered, so we're good to go there. Let me know down below what you guys think. I just can't get over the pocket clip. It was, it was basically a test run for me, so the fact that it it worked great on the first try. I'm super happy with it and more than likely I'm gonna do more pocket clips like this if I can. And then the backspacer. Again, you got that carbon fiber weave. And then also the main thing I really wanted to show you guys was hopefully the camera can pick it up, but when you're actually tilting the blade, it actually almost looks like, it almost looks like water. So super happy with the the effect that this texture gives and it just fits the theme so ocean tuna water waves backspacer it's just it's really neat the pocket clip is kind of doing that effect but it's just in person looks a lot different i think this is going to be a a great giveaway for whoever wins it i hope they enjoy it all right now that we talked about it how do you enter the giveaway well, first, you must be a subscriber of the channel. Second, you must leave a comment. And third, in your comment, you must leave the word TUNA, all capitals, in the comments. You can comment whatever you want, but as long as the word TUNA, all capitals, is in your comment, you are entered into the giveaway. So, again, just wanted to say thank you, you guys. You guys are awesome, and, again, just making this fun to the point where I can create stuff like this for you guys and give them away. So with that being said, good luck to everybody who enters. Feel free to share this video so you can get your buddies in on it or family members. Just share away. Again, thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and as always, I will see you on the next one.